Well, good morning, people. How are you all diddling? It's a bright one, it's a dry one, but it's a nippy one. Although it is going to warm up. Anyway, let's crack on with it. Shut up and sit down. Yep, I'm just nipping into town to get my hair cut and at the same time I'm trying out my new helmet, the Shark Evo 1. Don't know if the camera, ang camera angle is okay, I'm hoping the audio is okay. I think camera angle is going to be off. But it's really difficult having it side mounted because it's so low on the helmet. Yeah, it's so low down that you can't really get a, you can't get a good angle on it. Obviously I can't top mount it because it's a flip lid that locks into the back. See what it's like at 60. It's a quiet helmet compared to my other, which, which like I said before was just a cheap thing from Rally. It's definitely a snug fit, it's very comfortable. I can get my glasses on great, my sunglasses, so there won't be any trouble if I'm wearing my normal glasses when I'm having a contact free time. The bike sounds thumpier today for some reason. Oh my gosh, it's cold. So yeah, I'm actually talking at a quite a le quieter level than I normally do. Not 100% sure why. Oh my gosh, it's a snug fit this helmet and my cheeks are restricted. Yeah, Evo 1 helmet, um, pinlock ready and it actually came with a uh, pinlock shield screen thing which was a little bit of a pain to fit I had to take the visor off which isn't the easiest thing on shark helmets it's just two little lugs you gotta push down and squeeze with a, a screwdriver or something but I got it off but getting the, the, the pin lock insert in um, was quite difficult without getting finger fingerprints on it and smudges and stuff because you had to manhandle it quite a bit I do like the visor as well because on the Shark um, Evo line, Evo line S or something, 3S that I had, that I've still got, the screen's scratched the hell on it, um, that didn't have pin lock inserts and when I bought one of those stick on ones it prevented the visor opening properly, it you know, really really did stick. With this one it's got the mounting pins for pin lock uh, and the visor is actually recessed. So on the inside, uh, you can't actually feel any raised bit where the, pin, the where the pin lock is. It's all flush because there's an insert, uh, a recessed level, which is pretty good. I've got my visor closed and I'm breathing, breathing heavily like I always do, uh, and I've got no misting whatsoever, which was always a problem for my other helmet and indeed the Shark Evo line. The Evo One has also got a, uh, a built-in sunscreen you pop down and unlike the Shark Evo line it came down to halfway across halfway down your nose the Evo 1 actually comes actually comes right down um, to the tip of your nose which is a lot better and I'm gonna have to get used to the camera being in a totally different position when it comes to doing my whoosh transition thing Let's see if I can get it right. Right, speak to you in a minute, folks. Shh.
Hello again, people. How are you all diddling? Oh, that's air cut done. I got there early, thinking it was going to be quiet, and it was packed. But I persevered. Right, caught the Suzanne's now for a cuppa. It's really, really nice having a helmet that doesn't fog up and there's no loads of no, there's no loads of wind noise. And it's comfy as well. It's actually really, really comfy this helmet. So I can get some shade down with my glasses on. Yes, lovely. A lovely day, it's still, still a bit cool. Did forecast like 14, maybe 15 degrees today. Still only feels about I don't know, eight, nine. But again, it's that wind chill that's what's making it feel so cold. Yeah, I thought I was gonna have to flick camera on upside down and put it on left side. Um, mic cable sticks right down and is almost touches my shoulder. I was going to have trouble turning my head and it catching. It seems to be okay. I think my bike sounds different because the helmet's cutting out all the wind noise. So all I can hear is the thump of the engine now, as opposed to, well, as opposed to all external noise. Right folks, see you in a minute. Right, right, catch you later. Bye. Bye. Hello again people. Nice cuppa, biscuits and a banana at Suzanne's. I sorted out with security sensors for her. Because they, they were a bit random. <laughs> anyway, they're sorted now. Go home and jump in a shower now to get all this loose hair off, off me. I hate having my hair cut and getting all bits down your back and neck and everything. It just irritates. Bloody irritates, it does, it does, it bloody irritates. Yes, I'm happy with helmet. Happy with the comfort, the quietness and everything else. I have to uh, ride with it in open face position yet. Yeah. But that'll probably be when it gets a little bit warmer. I'm just saying that I've got my visor open now. You know, it's not cold. Because I'd like to see what the audio's like when I haven't got the tin piece locked into position. Especially with the screen on, thinking it might be might be all right. Might have to see what audio's like on this at the moment. Because if audio's crap and angle's completely wrong, you might not even be seeing this video. Anyway, thanks for joining us folks, hope you've enjoyed this little outing and until next time, ride safe, be strong and I'll catch you later. Bye for now. Shut up and sit down.